and welcome to the foodie. This is a special episode, an episode which is going to get you high and definitely not leave you dry. What I mean is, this is an episode on wine and cooking with wine. For all of y'all who think that wine only comes out of a bottle, you are mistaken. This is what wine is made out of and I'm standing in a vineyard. Yes, I'm at Sula Vineyards in Nasik, which is about four hours away from Mumbai. The weather is crisp and cool, ideal for tasting some wine and getting educated about wine drinking, wine making and wine consuming. <laughs> Okay, with me is Swati. Hello, Swati. Hi, Kunal. Hi. Look, I'm illiterate as far, as far as how wine is made. I have no idea. Okay. I'm hoping that you'll give me an education about all this. Okay. So, let's start. Come on. Okay. Start teaching me. So, um, good wine is made in great vineyard. Good wine is made in great vineyard. So, this is a great vineyard. This is a great vineyard. Is Nasik a good place to grow grapes? But there was a lot of contemplation in the beginning and people laughed and said, what? Ha, ha, ha. But Nasik is the largest grape growing region in the country. It always has been. It always has been because they were making table grapes. Okay, it was what you eat. Yeah. So now let me just tell you about the difference between table grapes and wine grapes. Wine grapes. First of all, mm -hmm. um, visibly huh. they're smaller. Yeah. This is it. There we go. It's nice and sweet. It's very sweet. Mm. It's also got seeds. Yeah, the seeds inside. Which is not what's supposed to happen with table grapes for the fruit so right. smaller yeah yeah correct. yeah so here it's sweeter because the sugar has to ferment into alcohol mm but tell me now these are i wouldn't call them red they're purple they're almost black yeah, yeah they're purple, purple black yeah so is white wine made out of white grapes and red wine made out of red grapes no traditionally white grapes make white wine okay and uh, red grapes make red wine however it's a, let, let me show you something here that the juice coming from a red grape is also white. Oh, very clever. Right? So yeah. how does red wine get to be red? Mm. Um, well, a lot of characteristics apart from the color mm. come from the skin of the grape. Okay. okay. So in the case of red wine, mm. you keep the wine in contact with its skin mm. for many number of days depending on what you want your, white to come, uh, your wine to come out looking like. I want to see a little more of how this is made. Okay, this is wonderful. But can you sort of... You know, there's that whole traditional belief of st stomping on grapes and, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. so you could give it a hand. It's very, it's very tedious. This is the... What is this called? It's called a vat. A vat. Okay. It's basically the wine you're going to make today. Ah, uh, in this? Yes. The grapes we saw, uh -huh. Cabernet, Cabernet so Sauvignon, uh -huh. you have to stomp it. I have to stop them. Yeah. So many. All the juice. Yeah. Can I have a smaller portion? No, I, I, I've is, got only two this feet. This is what we need to do. Really? This okay. is how they used to do it in the old days? This is how they did it in the old days. Yeah. But I'm... Uh, I, too much of hard okay, work. Okay. 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 So too much of hard work. We've, right? we've got a relief option for you. Oh! This is much more manageable. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, let's get your feet all washed up. Oh! This is great fun. Come on, Swati, come on. In. This is like a bloody dance, man. Oh. How many people do you have employed here who do this? Well, you know, there's another way of doing this. Is there? Yeah, and I'll call upon Ajoy Shaw. He's our chief winemaker. To, Hi, Hi, Hi Ajoy. Good on. Really done. You mean it's not really done like this? No, it's not. <laughs> but you're done. You have done a good job. Yeah. And I think we should hire you for the harvest actually. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll come. If you give me free lodging lo 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 and boarding, I'll come and stay. It's not okay. a problem at all. No, okay. Usually what we do is we put this into the machine and then the grape. But does this tradition, uh, is it, uh, does it exist anywhere in the world still? Yeah, it still exists in Portugal. Okay. Very little of it, but yeah, it does. Let's finish squishing this and then go and see how it's really made. Sure. Okay. Yeah. When the grapes are ready for harvest, which is between January to March, they are hand-picked and emptied into a huge rotating drum where the grapes are mechanically crushed. The juice that comes out flows through pipes into enormous vertical cylinders. 
yeast is added and the juice is fermented for close to 2 to 3 months. After fermentation, the wine is collected, stashed away in bottles and left to age before final consumption. Alright. Finally, my favorite part. Yes, the tasting. Okay, so we've got six wines lined up here. Lovely. Quickly, I'm going to tell you here that primarily you're looking to fill out all your senses. Okay. So you're looking at the wine and and uh, you're looking to smell them. Uh -huh. See what dis distinct aromas you get. Okay. Of course, taste it. Of course, taste it. <laughs> and, and don't take small sips. You want to fill out gulps. your... Gulps. Gulps. <laughs> uh -huh. Not gulps. Uh -huh. You're looking to fill out your mouth and every part of your mouth. So you have different taste buds in okay. different parts of your mouth. Okay. And get, get as much as you can out of that taste. Okay. Um, and that, that's it. So it's as simple as that. So yeah. start. All right, it's a nice, clear looking wine. Pale, straw yellow. Yeah. Right? Yep. This is the Sula Sauvignon Blanc. The Sauvignon Blanc. Yes. Smell it. Oh, first smell it? With your nose in there, yeah. Okay. Mm. What do you get? Smell. <laughs> <laughs> what no. kind? You get bell pepper. It's sort of okay. flowery, Floral florally, floral. And now smell it again. Opens up the... Okay. Okay, I'm doing it all wrong. Yes, yes. <laughs> no, that's good. It's sort of floral. Yeah, it's is floral. it floral? It's yeah. floral. All around your mouth. It's very nice. It's crisp. Yes. And it's um, refreshing. Yes. And it's wonderful. The temperature is right. Mm -hmm. Perfectly. Nicely chilled. Yes. Very nice. So this is the Sumerian block. Yeah, it works as a very good apertus. It okay. opens up your taste buds, works well before dinner. Okay, now, Blanc is white, obviously. Blanc is white. Sauvignon is what? Is the kind of Sauvignon grape? Sauvignon is the name of the grapes. Sauvignon name of, Blanc. Okay, name of the grapes. Okay. Tasting of wines always happens in a particular order. A light white wine, which has lower alcohol content, is tasted first, followed by a heavy white wine, which has a little more alcohol content. The white wines are then followed by red wines, but the changeover is gradual. A rosé wine, or blush as it is called, is tasted next. This wine is produced by removing the skins from the fermentation process just before the liquid turns deep red. The rosé is then followed by a light red wine, and then a heavy red wine. Wine tasting finally concludes with a sweet wine, which is usually a dessert wine. Oh, it's very nice. So, uh, let's sort of cheer, but before that, let me thank both of you all for this wonderful day. You're welcome. At Sula Vineyard. You're welcome. Yeah, I think I and people back home have learned a little more than we knew, or much more actually. And here, cheers. Lovely.